is meeting um, to order for July 8th, 2015. Um, I'd like to say that we're going to change things around a little bit. Um, the 9.30 um, meeting will be moved up to 9 o'clock, um, and we'll move everybody else down. That's the only change that I see right now, other than um, we're asking uh, the county attorney to come in and talk about our proposal for Hale's location. Um, for the schooling of the children in that location. Um, so, the first item on the agenda, and we won't forget public input, that will be, that will be handled. But, uh, in order to get people back to work, um, the Board of Commissioners decided that it would be good to have all the department heads in to talk about budgets. Um, we're under the gun. We need to stay within the budget. Yeah. We don't have anybody from the Sheriff's Department here. We want somebody to grab somebody, either Dominic or somebody from the Sheriff's Department to be part of this. Um, okay. hmm? Nobody from the county. Tom's on his way. I'll go down here. Sorry. Okay. But Tom's on his way. I just spoke with him. Cheery group. Actually, this is now. I'll wait. These are not our ones, but you need to either call us to keep checking. Why we're waiting? Do you want to okay. deal yeah. with the, the jail issue here? So do you got time? Uh, uh, some time back, we talked about the, uh, our staircase outside the facility. There were temporary stairs put in about 13 years ago, should have been replaced. They do not meet um, safety standards whatsoever. Commissioner Miller came over and saw them, and I believe you've all seen them. Mm -hmm. Went out and looked at uh, several different companies, anywhere from poured concrete to already pre made concrete to steel, and they all run about the same price. It's right around about four grand. Um, our recommendation is we would like to go with the steel as it's galvanized steel um, as it is it has a heavy duty um, non-slip since mm -hmm. it's a heavy use traffic area the snow will go down through it so it'll be easy to clean off um, and I have the quote here for the company the money will be coming out of the wall fund which is uh, plenty of money left in there so it doesn't come mm -hmm. out of anybody's budget yeah. So it won't affect anything. Well, are they going to pour the pads for the... We already have a pad. The pads there? Okay. Yep, we already have a top pad. So we're going to go right into that, into okay. the pad that's there. Where's the company from? FS Industries. Um, they're actually a province Rhode Island. Okay. Really? Yeah, we put it on a lot of different places. Um, June 16th. Okay, so we're still within the 30 days. Mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion to approve the. So moved. I'll second it. I'd like to read it. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I gave it to you. I just looked at it on the way up. It's all covered. No, it isn't. Prices do not include unloading or installation. Uh, so I talked to them, it should be everything. So, But I'll double check, make sure. And I might come down a little less too because they have in there taking the staircase out. We're going to take the staircase out ourselves. So I might come in a little less. Um, but I'll wait sure on that. Uh, I'd, make a, I'd like to 
I can on the motion and we table this until we find out what's included in it right. accurately. All right, just table. That's fine. Do you want to find out today and bring yep. it back to us? Yep. It says unloading and installation, Jason. Yep. All right, we had the sheriff. We don't have anybody from the county attorney's office. <coughs> Well, we're not going to hold everybody up. We'll have to fill him in when he gets here. Or at some other time. The reason why we have all the department heads in is because of budgeting restrictions. Um, each department head here has put in the budget what they needed to operate this year. We need to stay within those lines. We can't go over those lines. The delegation has said that each line is an appropriation, which means the bottom line um, to us doesn't matter. It's each line item. However, if you feel that it's going to, it's an emergency, that something needs to be done, then come to us before you spend it. Okay, we can't. It's going to be illegal for us to spend over the line item. However, they have made provisions so that if it goes over by $1,000, then we go to the uh, executive committee, which is made up of the chairman, vice chairman, and clerk, to get their approval. And we've already done that in two cases, which they have approved. Um, so I guess I'd ask the other board members if they want to uh, add anything to that? Yes. I Go think you, you sent a confusing message, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, there's two There's two laws in effect, at least. One says that we can't overspend a line item, and another one that within 60 days of signing by the governor, which was Representative McCarthy's bill, that if it's over $1,000 on a line mm -hmm. item, we have to get we have to get permission. We have to get permission in either case. If it goes over two cents, we have to, and if it goes over a thousand, we have to. So it's important that when you people are doing your budget that you make sure it gets in the right line item, and that if it's going to go over... Um, before it goes over. Before it goes over. Um, and if it goes over, uh, we're going to have to wait to get okay from the delegation to move the funds. You know, in the in the past, and we we heard it. I think it was last week, uh, where it was indicated that a line item wouldn't be over, but we still had he still had room within the budget, um, and that's the way we've operated in the past, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the way all the towns operate. Bottom line budget kind of concept. We we can't do that anymore in this county. We have to watch every single line item. So we have 601 within the county. Some of these departments have 200, 300, some have 30. But we have to manage every single line item. So even though it looks like you're going to be within budget at the end of the year, we don't really, the bottom line doesn't mean anything to us on your budget. It's each individual line item. So it's critical that you guys really pay attention to these budgets because the last thing we want to do is get in trouble with the delegation and not follow their, their instructions. I'm assuming that you get the budget uh, as what is um, spent on a monthly basis. Anybody? Correct. Everybody gets it, right? All right, you got to watch that closely that, that um, if you think it's going to go over, uh, you better come to us first. Only in case it's an emergency. Go ahead. Uh, I know in the past, we were saying line item, like a over like salary overtime is a line item. Yes. Salary mm -hmm. regular deputies is a line item. Yes. So yep. Yep. if I was short on a deputies, short of deputy and we had to hire someone I had to pay overtime, it was like the overtime's gonna go over because of that. Um, we still go to you first before Okay, I just want to make yeah, that clear yeah, on that because yeah. salary itself isn't 
a general <laughs> general category. It's all the individual ones. Yeah, right. Okay. right. Yeah. And we we've never in the past used any salary line to make up any other difference. Yes, I am aware. Of that. Okay. And we've talked about it in the past, but we just wanted to reemphasize the constraints we're under and make sure everybody understands that mm -hmm. the old policy is out and the new one is every line item in the budget. So that's that's what we'll have to deal with this year and maybe in the future. I know it makes it difficult, and uh, but we're under the same constraints you guys are under. Something else that we may be doing is we may be changing to those those numbers that DRA is is recommending now, um, which will help because what it's doing is it's combining several items under one line item, um, so it's reducing the number of line items that we have. Um, that may help us in the long run. Even so, we have to have the detail as to what's in that line item. The way the delegation has operated in the past, they want to um, define individual items. Um, for example, if you've got something in, uh, in maintenance and, and um, mattresses are one item, but the bed is another item, um, they want to know which item is which. So we're still going to have to have documentation under each of those line items, even though we're going to com be combining uh, some of those. Okay. Anybody got any questions? When that had a question. Hey, yes, when, I think it was last week or week before, we talked about those transfer forms that you had looked at all the different counties and then Commissioner Babson had a transfer form. Is that something that you, you how would you like that used? If they, are, if they realize that something is not correctly itemized under that budget line, and they need to change it if it's, can you explain how you would like those used, if they are even to be used anymore? Those, those transfer line item. The but transfer the line it's all going to come forms. to us. Yeah, they go to the delegation. We, we can't make a transfer ourselves. If, yeah. if we're going to be over, we send a, a document to the delegation and we say this line item is going to be over. And there's a possibility we may have room someplace else. but. That transfer is done by the delegation, not by the commissioners. But is there still the specific form that you want yes. used? Yes, throughout the department? yes, there is. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can, does Cheryl have a copy of that form that she yes. would send to all We've the departments? Yes. In the business office, yes. Okay. Cheryl, can you send that out to all the departments so everybody has the same form and is using what they're. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? All right, the next item I want to announce is that we have hired an administrator. Um, he will be starting, did you get confirmation when he would start? His official first day here will be August 3rd. August 3rd. But he will be able to come up before that at various times okay. to start learning. He is presently the assistant uh, county administrator and also the assistant County um, Nursing Home Administrator from Stratford County. He uh, comes with us with a lot of experience. He's dealt with unions. He's, he's done just about everything that we're looking for. Um, and everybody here, department heads, will be reporting to him. Um, and as soon as he comes on board, we'll have another meeting to get to know him and, and uh, find out where he's coming from. It's going to take him a couple of weeks to get around to talk with everybody. That was his plan. Um, so we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, Ken Robush Robo Robichaud, Robichaud yeah. um, from Stratford County. I think he lives in Milton or he very did, close. He lives in Milton. So yep. he's not going to be moving. Uh, he's within 30 minutes of here, so he has no problems in and getting here. Um, so that's where that stands. So that's where he'll be starting in, in August. So do we have any questions on that? So he, you will be reporting to him uh, and then he will convey anything that he feels necessary to the board 
we will still be meeting every Wednesday. Um, but it'll be a little bit different. Uh, hopefully, uh, everyone will accept him. You're going to have to. Um, but I, I think it'll work out very well. He's not a person that is going to micromanage you, um, but he's going to hold you to the line. Um, and he's going to be, I, th I think the board feels he's going to be very good, a great addition to uh, Carroll County. So, any questions on that? Yes? Would you like to thank the panel and, and for all their work? Yeah, we had, we had a, an interesting panel. We had two people uh, that were administrators um, on the panel. We had two outside people that were um, retired finance financial, uh, financial uh, people. Uh, the three of us, uh, HR. Um, and we invited one member of the delegation who for whatever reason could not attend the meeting. That was Representative Schmidt uh, and he agreed to be on the committee but had conflicts and so was not here. Um, but we went through the process, we interviewed how many candidates? Four? I think there was four candidates. Uh, one from Northern Maine, um, two from New Hampshire. Um, three from New Hampshire. Totally. Three from New Hampshire, okay. Um, then we went through the process. Um, we even had one of them come in for a second interview, um, which he did a lot better on the second interview than he did on the first. Um, we ended up not hiring that individual, um, but it was a um, it was a good committee, and we thank them for their service from coming from Grafton County and Sullivan County, plus the two individuals that were financial people. Um, Anybody on the board have anything else to say about that? No. Nope. Look forward to working with them. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about with the department heads? If not, I'm work filling you in a little bit on the. We have another meeting with you today, and we talk about the budget constraints. Okay. You only. That's the only thing you really missed. All right. Thank you. Okay. If that's. Uh, if there are no questions, uh, you're excused, except for those people that are on our agenda. Could I uh, see the commissioners at some point today? Um, I have some contracts that I'd like to go over with you from last week. Okay. Uh, I know okay. I'm, I'm not on the agenda. I did not ask to be, only because I knew I was coming up here this morning for this. Okay. okay. Uh, so if you have some. How about coming back around 10 o'clock? Around 10 o'clock? That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's go into public input. We, uh, next item is on ni at 9 o'clock. Um, so if anybody's got any public input, Damon. Um, a couple things. Now, these restrictions that you just spoke about, those are from McCarthy's law? No, not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, but you can't overspend without going to the delegation at all. Right. Uh, per line item. Yes, and then there's the thousand, what was the thousand dollar? That's McCarthy's. Well, what was that? Like, you can't overspend it all without going to the delegation executive committee. I got that part. And then you said there's another thing about a thousand dollars. That's McCarthy's. Right, but what about it? Like, if you go over a thousand dollars, or you're going to go over a thousand dollars, then the current RSA um, demon states that that you cannot go over any appropriation, um, and if you do, that the commissioners or the public official that does can be held responsible for paying the difference. Now in the meantime, Representative McCarthy puts his bill in for $1,000 having to go to the delegation for over $1,000. But you have to go so, to the delegation anyway for two pennies. That's correct. That's, that's correct. correct. So the conflict. Yep. What's happened, Damon, is that the, the delegation told us that they expect us to abide by that court case in Belknap County. Right where the judge said that every line item is a, an appropriation. Okay. And 
since that's happened, the first year they changed it so they could go over $300 at a time, but then they continue to go over 300, 300, 300. So it's been changed now to $700. Belknap can go over on a line item up to $700. The delegation has told us that they consider us under the same constraints as Belknap, but on that case, they didn't say that you can go over a thousand. Now, and then Mr. McCarthy put in a bill that said we have to notify them when we're over a thousand on a line item. So we have kind of conflicting obligations and, and rules from the delegation. We're not quite sure which one supersedes the other one. I'm assuming it's a thousand dollar line item that Mr. McCarthy talked about. But I never heard a vote come out of the delegation saying that forget about Belknap and just follow Mr. McCarthy's law. And that's or that's forget, kind of or forget about going over the line item. Yeah. That's the, that's the point. Okay, so you're just being careful and just saying any overage yeah. Please fill out the form and we'll send it to the delegation. There may be emergencies that come up that that's when we, if we go over a thousand dollars, then we'll have to go. Either way, we're going to have to go to the delegation. Okay. And, and then that's we, what we've been doing. Yeah. We've and made four requests already that they've approved. And, and also, uh, I think you guys are asking for a supplemental of 200, uh, two, two million? Two million dollars. That's correct. We are. Yep. We and have already. To fill the hole. Like, to, Howie thought it might be a lot smaller and, and that um, a lot of the money could be recovered. So was that unsuccessful? Or, or is no, it no it's a case, case where we're not going to be able to collect it all in one year. Yeah. And it's not going to add up to the two million. It may be a million and a half. Okay. But it's going to be collected over a period of time. Uh, and it may not be done this year. It doesn't look like it will be done this year. And they're not going to probably rule on that until August, the next delegation? Well, what, what's happening on that, Damon, is that we're trying to collect the, 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 the money from Medicaid, Medicare, and, and their payment structure is that if they agree to pay us, they amortize it over 18 months. Mm -hmm. So when we don't get one lump sum, we get an amount per month for the next 18 months, and if a resident dies, during that 18 months, <laughs> then they cut the refund, they cut the funding off, so we lose the total amount. So we're not going to know, even though that optimistically we hope we can collect a million and a half. It's going to take us two years before we have the final number on how much of that was collected. And we're not going to know until the end. And you need that you need that two million dollars by the end of the year, and the delegation is not meeting again until August, as I understand it. That's right, That's August, right. August yeah. 10th. Yeah, we need we need to be able to borrow more money to make it through the month of December. And McCarthy's bill did that become law, or is that or that bill? I don't think it's been signed yet. But uh, yeah, but it's been signed by the governor, I believe, but oh. it's sixty days after. Okay. So it hasn't taken effect yet. Okay. Anybody else public input? No. Okay, then we'll move along. Why don't the three of you, let's see, we got to go into non-public. Yep, I'll make a motion we go into non-public um, under RSA 91A.3, paragraph 2, parentheses C. Matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the board or agency itself, unless such person requests an open meeting. I'll second that motion. Roll call. Commissioner Miller, yes. Commissioner Sorensen, yes. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Should we ask Dr. Lewis and, and Howie and Laurie if they want an open meeting? Because it says yes. Um, yes. Would you like to have an open meeting or would you like to have a non public? I think non public. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody. That's is just it. a formality. Motion passes. We're now in non public. How do they do it? Okay. Action. Take Hold one. the camera. I'll make a motion that we come on a non-public session and that we seal the minutes under number one, affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of this board. Second it. Commissioner Miller, yes. Dave Sorensen, yes. Commissioner Babson, yes. Okay. We're now in public session. 
as you just heard, we have sealed the minutes, uh, so we'll move on. We have Janice Spinney here to talk about taking a walk in our shoes and uh, the heroin situation that we find ourselves in Carroll County. Please introduce yourselves, who you represent, and why you're here. Well, my name is Janice Spinney. I'm a resident of the town of Bartlett. I've lived in this community for over 25 years. And I've been an advocate for recovery for probably 20 of those years. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my family's been affected tremendously by this disease. And um, I became an advocate because I'm also a pharmacist in this community. I've been in front of this panel before, many years ago, trying to get support mm -hmm. for a treatment program in the mid-2000s. Unfortunately, that was before the crest, and there wasn't enough referrals to that program. It was called MWV, Addiction Treatment Solutions, if you remember. Um, I attended the seminar in Sandwich that Public Health had put on, and I felt the need to do something at the takeaway request. So I decided to um, initiate a walk. Uh, this walk should be countywide. I thought having people in each town walk a five-mile stretch, whether it's in their town on Route 16, would kind of unite the county in a way that it's not united right now as far as each town is dealing with this problem on their own. It's called siloing, I guess. I've heard that term a lot lately. And to bring everybody together after that, after we walk in our community and memorialize some of the kids we've lost and the families that have been affected and just give them support. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for... Um, anything but support from, from this um, commission. Mm -hmm. And um, there are a couple of communities that I might need some um, police detailing in. That would be the only thing. And I, I think your sheriff has tried to contact me. And um, if that's a possibility, that would be great. If it's not, you know, I totally understand, you know, mm -hmm. with budgets and things. But um, I'm trying to get a speaker to come to the second part of the event. and. Uh, also pull some people. It would. It's not a political event, even though it's in September of this year. There's a lot of political people that want to walk. Um, mm -hmm. I've asked people not to bring signs, and it, it, this is the families, and um, that's that's pretty much my story. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much asking you to make it aware all around the communities that you live in. I've pretty much nailed down Tamworth North for the permits and for walking in the parade permits with the state. And today mm -hmm. I'm going to travel down to um, Wolfboro and Tufton Borough and... Um, Wakefield? Uh, Wakefield. Wakefield I've already done. Um, okay. So well, I, Wolfboro, I, you're not going through Wolfboro, Janet. It's from the map. <coughs> the map? Goes from Wasabi. Yeah. Right, that's just a, a symbol of how oh. we're going to... I mean, if you have to walk in your town... Some of the police chiefs don't want people walking on Route 16, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. So I, I've pretty much let it, left it up to them to decide where safety is paramount and they can walk in their town on one of their major routes, a five mile stretch. She's looking for some people from each town and that's probably why. Right. There'll be a flag in each town and if you can't relay it to the next town it'll be brought up to Shula Park by I'm hoping to get the Mount Washington Valley Hogs involved and maybe ride the flags up and then there'll be a ceremony at, at that point in Shula Park from, from 12 to 2. Um, Jim, why are you having the uh, the, the final uh, uh, activity in, in Shula, Shula Park when you're going to end up down in Wakefield? It's not actually going to be a straight relay anymore. That was my, my first, you know, I first wanted it to just come up 16 because the, the discussion was that Route 16 is the heroin traffic way, and that's where we wanted to walk. But when you look at the towns, there's no way to do it. <laughs> Yeah. You can't just have, you know, the people on the, on the six, Route 16 corridor walk without including the other towns that are kind of on the outstretches. So I've decided to leave it up to the, the, town, sheriff, the town chiefs to decide where they want to walk, and then we would relay the flags. So you're talking just a five-mile walk within each town? Correct. Okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Well, I think... Oh, I think five sure. miles per leg within the... Right. Five miles in Osby won't get you very far. Exactly. That's right. But they're not trying to make a continuous walk all the way up. And she's asking each town to support a five mile walk and then meet at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. There's no way to relay it. It's yeah, just exactly. Impossible. Oh, so okay, then I'm wrong. Yeah. It's not a relay, you just 
But we will at, be late at, at 10 a.m. All towns will yeah. start off and walk five miles. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. That's okay. Well, I apologize for making fun of you, Mr. Commissioner. I, I think our sheriff is well aware of the heroin situation mm -hmm. uh, in Carroll County. Um, we, myself, I'll, I'll, I'll say from my point of view that I wish I had attended the uh, meeting in Sandwich. Uh, we probably all of us should have been there um, to support the effort in, in our county. Um, it is a, a, a major problem. Um, and I definitely would would uh, support what you're trying to do. Um, and I'll let the other board members speak for themselves. Um, I think we need to make it more aware. Um, even though we've had a lot of information in the papers, on the radio, and like I said, our sheriff's department is involved. Um, so I guess I'd let other people speak uh, as to what they would. Yeah, I totally support this. I think it's a, a great cause, and, uh, and hopefully you're going to be very successful. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have contacts in each of the towns that you're working with right now? Uh, no, I'm going down there now. <laughs> uh, most of the towns, like I said, from Tamworth North, I'm good. Okay. But it's the southern sector. Okay. 25 over that way, I nobody. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go blind right now. Okay. <laughs> from, <coughs> so you, I'll say you, I have your blessing. So you get support from all these other towns north of... Uh, yeah, I'm not getting financial support, but I'm getting support that support they'll, they'll support the that walk. That somebody is going to be there Absolutely. to do the walk. Yeah, to do the walk yeah. and also to police it, because mm -hmm. I need a state parade, you know, permit to walk mm -hmm. on yeah. 16. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Have you had an opportunity to talk with the Association of Police Chiefs? No, I have not. No. That's something you might want to, okay. yeah, want to talk with. Sure. And you have talked to Dominic, right? Uh, we kind of played voicemail. I haven't okay. talked to him actually, but I think he understands, and I'll call him back. He's here. He's, He's here. here today. He's just gonna lie down and talk. First floor. Stop in and see him. First floor. Yeah. Yeah. Stop in and see him. I appreciate your time. Thank okay. you for Thank you. your effort. Yep. Good luck. And please come out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Bob. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, some unfinished business from last week. You had um, approved, but I did not have a formal contract for the hood cleaning at the uh, at the nursing home. Right. So if you would sign that, that is that is the, the contract as we discussed. <coughs> Recommendation to hold it, I think. Is that to your satisfaction now? I'm trying to think why we were going to hold it. We were Remember holding Tri State because I was pulling the um, fire the, the broken up fire extinguisher services out of it. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You wanted to wait until we hit the six year time period when they had to be done and do them all at once. As That's opposed right. to start doing them on a three year cycle. Which, as it turns out, is three dollars less per fire extinguisher to have them all done at once. So, good idea. Thank you. Well, just if you're familiar with it, I'll just sign it. Good. Do they have a motion to authorize me to sign it? I make a motion to you authorize the sign. I second the motion. Oh, it's Dust Cleaning Company. I want support. Say aye. 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 This is the. Tri-state contract that uh, we tabled last week, um, I have removed. Uh, oh, that's right. You're going from uh, rotating through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I pulled the fire extinguisher service out of it completely. Um, so it is. It's just the other mess that we talked about. Motion for me to sign this. Make the motion we sign the uh, tri-state fire protection contract, which will um, allow for maintenance of the. Fire extinguishers all at one time. Is that correct, Bob? Well, no, because that's taken out completely. That just uh, that covers the annual inspection of our fire extinguishers. It covers the uh, the hood um, 
the Ansel system, the fire, uh, the fire system on the hood, and fire suppression, and the, the uh, sprinkler and fire pump inspections. So the kitchen fire inspection is in August. Yeah. Fire sprinkler systems in September. Portable fire extinguishers in December. Okay. And that's just an inspection, not a, uh, not a service. Second that motion. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 So voted. Okay. And the third item that I have for you is we have, um, last week I had discussed, that's my commissioner, uh, we discussed JP Pest services. Um, after giving your comments a lot of thought, and our contract, a lot of review and discussions with the JL and Jerry here at the administration building. We're all, we're all very pleased with the services that JP Pest has provided. Uh, they are holding price. They have done that for three years in a row. And to change contractors would require an additional capital expense that I don't think that we should um, spend and not to mention it's not been budgeted for oh so, so we, they got some infrastructure that's actually built in they the, do mm -hmm. so if we went to somebody else we'd have to we'd have to replace that infrastructure well, i'm not, I'm not <coughs> that. we don't have any money so to do that. well that should be we want to make sure that gets on the tape that they provided us with hard equipment to to work with well, and, and, and what that value is yep yeah. i uh it's, it would easily exceed a thousand dollars, just to switch. Just to switch, no. yes. So, uh, okay. so I offer you that letter for the, for the record. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that the uh, board uh, uh, bypass the requirement to go out for bid for over five thousand um, dollars for our pest services, and that we uh, because because of the infrastructure costs, right? Right there. Because of I'm, I appreciate the help, guys. Can I okay. <laughs> Keep going. Or what? Now I got to start all over again. No, you don't. <laughs> For our pest services, JMP pest services, because thank you. Um, they have provided us. They've withheld the price for for years. They have provided us with uh, a no better term hardware that's been installed and they've maintained themselves, which would be. A, uh, an additional cost if we were to go to somebody else, and I think that um, good vendors deserve to um, be recognized by keeping their contract until such time as um, they are no longer a good vendor. I, sec I second. I second. Yeah, I'm all done. Okay. Second. 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 Any further uh, comments? Hearing none. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 Unanimous. Thanks for voting. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think it's the it's the best bet for the county. Okay. I think we ought to recognize, Bob, that, that, that um, we take your recommendations very seriously for the good job that you do here, and uh, when you tell us this is a good vendor, then I feel quite confident that it is. Thank you. Appreciate your confidence. Are you done? Yeah, that's it for me. Um, you know, I listen to the Red Sox game uh, all the time, and I don't know why, because they terrible. There's, I a only... wind, there's a Wind River company that advertises for um, um, grease and something removal. Oh, and the largest in New England. Have we ever um, given them an opportunity? Yes. Not that particular company that doesn't ring uh, bells. W&R Resources or Environmental or something. I'll be listening tonight and I'll get the information for you. Do you, do you we're talking about the grease trap? Yeah. Well, no, the hoods, the grease traps, and, and we do something with the hoods too. You, know? you don't do the grease trap though, do you? No, no they, they the farm really, and it's, it's, uh, Will does it. yeah, Will does that, and uh, we, and to be, to be honest with you, we did uh, explore another company uh, just recently, but there were more money uh, yeah. than the company that we have now, so we can even, even present them to you. Yeah. Okay. Is, <coughs> well, you may not know. I was going to say, do you know whether, are we using the grease crap in back of the old nursing home at all? No. Okay. No, that hasn't been used since we moved out. That's what I thought. Okay. 
All right, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. You, 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 you have no problems like all the boss? No, not at all. Give your name and yeah. down, please. <coughs> Dave, you actually list some of the Red Sox when they're losing, like that? Losing? So they won last I, night. That's oh. the difference between a fan and somebody that's just. <coughs> okay. Johnny, come with me. <laughs> All right. Um, I'd like to um, approve the minutes. Um, if you have questions in regards to the. Which one are we doing, public and non-public? Well, this one goes looking in, at the non-public. <coughs> this one is a motion to go into non-public for hiring any person as public employee. Um, I would say this is the this is the non <coughs> non public. It is the non public. Yep. So we have a motion to accept the non public minutes. I got if we start talking about it, then we have going on. I just wanted to take a peek at it for it. Is that from last week's meeting? Yeah. Motion to accept the uh, minutes of July 6th, 2015. Non public. Non public? Yes. I hear a second? Yeah. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 And so voted. Do we have to record those end of the <coughs> Not the minutes. Not, Not the, the minutes. minutes. It's yours now. These are sealed, right? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Should we? Um, you did it the bottom of them sealed? I didn't. I don't remember whether it's hard or not. Maybe we should take a vote to seal them. Yeah, it, it's optional here. It will or will not be sealed. I, I think we should seal these. So I have a motion we seal these. Minutes. Second. Second. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 And so go ahead. I'll make a motion we accept the minute, the public minutes of July 1st as submitted. I don't see any any errors. Second that motion. No further discussion. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 I'll use this one as the Official one. Sign yours. You have something you had mentioned earlier that you wanted to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me to do. <coughs> Work session? Yeah. I think each of us got a letter from we Representative Cordell. Cordelli. We, re we received a uh, email from Representative Cordelli on Wednesday, July 1st. Good afternoon. I have heard that an offer was extended to a candidate who turned it down. Representative Schmidt and I are the delegation representatives to the Administrator Hiring Committee but we have been completely left out of the process. We would like to get an update on the status as well as copies of resumes of the candidates who have been under consideration. I would also like to know who did the uh, reference checks on the candidate who turned down the offer. Thank you, Glenn Cordelli. Um, this is a response that I'm proposing to Representative Cordelli. Representative Cordelli, the commissioners gave the delegation chairman two names with whom we were willing to work. Representative Schmidt was one and could not attend our meetings. You were not one of the two, so you were not included. The selection was or is the responsibility of the commissioners. We made the choice. 
you will not be receiving any information about the candidates or their references. You know, it, do you have any problem with sending that? I mean, I don't think Mr. C Representative Cardelli, I seen maybe he wants to be Commissioner Cardelli. I don't know, but that's not his responsibility. Well, first of all, all of those deliberations were done in non public. Second of all, we specifically did not invite him to be on the committee. He self appointed himself, and we never approved that, and it's our job to select a county administrator and not his. Right. And the third issue, it's documents like this from the delegation, which is one of the reasons I refuse to run again. This is absolutely uncalled for, unprofessional, and I'd like an apology from him. He has no right to send us this kind of a document. Absolutely not. Who, who is he to think he's going to get somebody's uh, uh, resume for who may be working around the corner? That's confidential information. I think that's what I say. Maybe he should run for commissioner. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll be a board member with me next time. Just incenses me when we get documents <coughs> like this from our delegation. Absolutely incenses. Their job is the budget, and that's it. I, I think uh, Representative Chandler made it clear when this position became available, when we asked for it, um, that it was up to the board of commissioners and not the responsibility of the delegation. So, um, you make an that motion? And we yes. bent over, Dave. You remember yeah. when we didn't have to, but we asked for a member of the delegation, not this individual. We right. asked for a member. We to asked join for us. two. Yeah, we asked for two. We asked for two. We got one, and he never showed up. So he had. Well, he had. Well, fair enough. I understand. Had, I understand. But we had eight people on the committee, right? And only seven selected this because he could not make it. It's not it. He had other commitments, but right. we made the offer. Yep. yep. We selected the individual. He could not make it. We never, ever offered that position to Glenn Cardelli. Ever. Okay. Um, I don't think we need a motion. I just want to know if that's all right with you guys. If absolutely. I yes. No way. Okay. Yeah, all right. Anything else before we go into, again, non public? Anything else we need to bring up and talk about? You got something? You have contracts that. Well, the contract for the yeah, sheriff's department, right here, David, it's on our agenda you somewhere. Well, I got, you got the contract. I got to find the agenda. Okay. Yeah, I know it's right do. there. I know you do. We do. There it is. This was just what was already uh, approved, and we just need signatures because everything is all finalized. So yep. there's three copies. So if you could sign, um, each of you could sign each copy, and then I will get back to the sheriff's department to have all their representatives from the union. Sign We have you for an unpublished one? Yeah. Okay. We need to have. Um, would you ask the county attorney to come in? I think he wants to do that in non public. I believe that's oh, non public because, and it won't be a non public, it will be meeting with counsel. Oh, and yeah. Okay. Meeting. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So yeah. if yeah. you want to do work session and then we can. We just, I think we just. Yeah. Session, yeah. We we can just We're all set. Okay. Do you want to have him come in first? Um, well, let's see. If, yeah, let's see if he's available. Okay. This being appropriate time to ask questions about the county uh, administrator hiring. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Like, um, how many how many times did the hiring panel meet? You said that Representative Schmidt never made a meeting or never made. Three meetings. How many meetings were there that he missed? Can I answer part of that question? Go ahead. Um, it's not fair to say he didn't make all the meetings. Our feeling was after 
if you want, couldn't be part of the whole thing and hear all the candidates because right. we yeah. spread them up over a couple of weeks, that it wasn't fair to any one candidate if he wasn't here and then he heard the others. Okay. So he. So he agreed to do he it. He agreed to do it, and there was one that he couldn't make, and so, so that we was, said it wasn't fair to the right. others. And right. I don't think we even notified him of the other two. Right. And you we met a total of four times. You met a total of four times. Yeah. And including um, the organization meeting in a meeting. I think that was the very first one. Mm -hmm. Then we had a couple interviews that day, and then we had. Um, Did you guys meet one day when I wasn't here? Uh, the first one I wasn't here for. That's right. Organization that's, one. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Oh, okay. But at least four and maybe five. Four. I'd have to so look back at my notes. You could make one, so we yeah. felt it was, yeah. Yeah, at least um, four, maybe five. Did you, who did you communicate with the delegation asking for two? You agreed that you would have two? We you went would, right to the... To Umberger and yes. she would... Yes. We yes. had the delegation meeting. Okay. Yes. And what... Um, you refused for Cordelli to serve. He kind of self-appointed himself, you guys were saying. Yeah. What, we, what we happened didn't, in the past? We didn't refuse, we just, he wasn't one of our, we were told that we sent the two people that we wanted one. to, okay. that we felt would, would be most helpful for us. Right. Well, we get back a very curt answer from the chairman saying the delegation will make the appointment, that was it. Okay. We said, fine, you make the appointment, and if it isn't one of these two, we'll go it along. And she appointed, and she Schmidt, appointed one of them. Yeah. Schmidt was one of them, which yeah. you, yeah. Yeah. What had Cordelli done in the past that had, that he was up, that he would not be allowed, or that he wouldn't be helpful? What had Cordelli done that you had decided he would not be helpful? Well, we could have looked at, let's not, let's not uh, signal him out. Okay. Um, uh, he, there are there others that were members of the delegation that we didn't ask. Okay. He just volunteered. Right. We, so, we, we tried this letter that he just wrote. Certainly, uh, Mr. Milley, you know, it's unprofessional and uncalled for. So it seems to me, was, was there anything that he had done similar to this last email that... I'm doing a little digging. <laughs> well, I would say no, the no. answer is yes, but that's as far as I'm going to go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Say, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he'd been. Yeah, I will say in, you know, in social you media, know. I'm going to say it as I said it before. He's been demeaning on social <coughs> media, and 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 I'm not going to stand for that. Right. Okay. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Make a motion we go into a non public session? No, no it's not, not just work session. Non, you're going to go into a non meeting. Non meeting. Non meeting. Okay. With council. council. With council. With council. Can you just let me know? Which when means you want? everybody's excused. It's yeah. almost like a non public session. <laughs> it's like a non public question. I mean, yeah. um, can you just let me know when you are ready to go into? You're going to be the first one we call. The last non public? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>